how you can update your Recon ITR with the latest and greatest update. So the first thing that we need to do is head over to the Summary Software Updates page. We can do this a number of ways, but the easiest way is to either type in Summary Updates into a search engine or simply navigate to summary.com updates. And once we enter in that URL, we will be taken to the Software Updates landing page where we can see that the latest version of Recon ITR is available over here on the top left. And all we have to do is select the Download Now button to open up a new tab of Amazon WorkDocs. And we can see that we can download a copy to our local system by selecting this button right here. Now, before we can actually move to running the Recon ITR updater, there are two prerequisites that we need to take care of. The first of which is going to be Xcode, which can be installed rather easily. We just have to open up the Apple App Store and we need to ensure that we are signed in with an Apple ID. And next we can go ahead and move over to the search bar and type in the word Xcode. So the first result should be the Xcode developer tools and we should have the option to install it where this button normally is located. Uh, obviously I already have it installed so my button instead says open but you should have the ability to install it through here. And once Xcode is fully installed, we then want to open up a terminal window, which can be done a number of ways, but the easiest way is by hitting the command button and the space button to open up a spotlight search and simply type in the word terminal. After that, you should be able to select this first option right here. It'll open up a new shell window. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. And after that, we want to type in the following command xcode dash select space dash dash install so again that is xcode dash select all one word one sp uh, single space dash dash install once we run this command it'll go ahead and do a command line level installation of some additional binaries that the updater requires and after that's finished we can go ahead and move on to our second prerequisite now the next and final prerequisite that we have for running the Recon ITR updater is going to be to provide the application with full disk access. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to our downloads folder or the location that we saved the download from the first part of this video, and we should have a resulting zip file. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this zip file to unzip it to a folder, and inside of this folder should be a DMG containing the latest version of the updater application. We're going to double click on that DMG and it should mount and inside should just be a updater application. So mine is currently called recon underscore imager underscore updater, but yours may be named something slightly different depending on when you're watching this video. And we're going to select this application by single clicking on it. And then we're going to click and drag it over to our ITR updater folder so that inside of our folder, we currently have an imager updater application and the actual DMG as well. From here, we're gonna go ahead and launch another spotlight search by hitting the command button and the space button. And we're going to type in either system settings or system preferences. Because I'm running macOS 13 and any version of macOS 13 or above, it should be named system settings. Uh, but if it is macOS 12 or below, then you should see system preferences instead. So we're gonna go ahead and select the first option and it's gonna open up the system uh, settings pane. And we're gonna scroll down on the left side until we see privacy and security. And we're gonna scroll down from here until we see full disk access. And it should output a list of the different applications that currently are configured with this permission. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom until we see this little plus icon right here. We're going to select this and it will prompt us for the admin password. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in and hit enter. And finally, we're gonna navigate over to the location of our imager updater. So mine is located in downloads, then inside of our ITR updater folder, and finally the recon imager updater. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and hit open. And you'll see that the imager updater gets added to the list of approved applications. And finally, we just need to ensure that this switch is toggled to on. And then we should be good to go ahead and launch the updater and get our drive updated. 
we're going to go ahead and move over to the Imager Updater application, and we're going to double click on it to launch it. We may get a prompt uh, when the application is first run that it has been downloaded from the internet, in which case we're going to select open. And you may get another prompt from the actual updater application uh, if your drive is not explicitly named Recon ITR to navigate over to your license file. So if your license or your Recon ITR drive is currently named Recon Triage or Recon underscore ITR, then you will simply need to navigate to the license file that is stored at the root of your drive. And then you should see this window right here, the brand spanking new Recon Imager updater. So you can see that there is an additional update type of online here. So we're going to go ahead and leave it to the online option. And next, we're going to go ahead and type in our admin password one more time. And when we select OK, it's going to go ahead and reach out to the internet and download the latest version of both Recon ITR and Recon Imager so that it can update both of them at once. So we're going to go ahead and select OK, and we'll see you guys once this is done. And after just a few short minutes of the updater downloading the required versions and repartitioning and updating the drive, we can see that our drive has successfully been updated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have uh, any ideas for other videos that you'd like to see next, please feel free to leave us a comment or uh, send us a message. Also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.